Good afternoon and welcome again to another installment of This Is Silly. The show where we aim to bring you the comedy and the obscurity behind some of the silly things that we hear in the mainstream media. Shut the fuck up for the 50th billion time! Some of the silly things that we hear out on the street. It's uh, kind of ironic that this is a Women's Day uh, march and uh, some of your cohorts were bullying a woman that was maybe 110 pounds. But Some of the silly things that we hear written on the walls. Anyway, up today for the docket. Yes, yes, the internet has spoken and it has been somewhat determined by the social justice people that Friends is in fact racist. How do you sum up, friends? You want to sing a song? One, two, three, four! <laughs> In other news, Trudels said something, and later on it didn't go over very well, so that he said he was joking. A little bit after that, we're going to talk about some protests that are erupting over some recent strange statements made over some things which may or may not have happened. <clears throat> We'd like to have a serious discussion with you for a moment. Please send us money! My God, it's hard enough already to make a career telling jokes on the internet without hundreds of thousands of people sending us hundreds of thousands of dollars. My God, look at all the staff we've got to pay. Look at all the stuff we've got to do. Look at all the props. I mean, my God, look, we've got to buy stuff like this. we got to... There's cables and stuff involved. It's just... It's just... It's out of control, absolutely. And so, if you like what you see and want this type of thing to continue, and, or if you just happen to have extra money sitting around in boxes or bags or whatever, or Bitcoin or anything, please send it to us. You can also volunteer props, time, and building materials. Thank you very much and have a good day. Okay, so, first item on the docket is that friends is racist yes i know i know i know friends yes that terrible show that plagued the 90s where all sorts of people watched it and decided oh my goodness my first world problems have a lot of validity compared to the general plight and struggle of mankind <sighs> they've made memes since then to express the silly nature of this type of thing there but and yet somehow long after the fact they come up with this idea that friends is racist oh my goodness people get together and they drink the herbal teas and they talk about the absolute shitty most terrible things ever in the world and oh my goodness the 1990s <sighs> friends my goodness anyway a whole bunch of people are saying that it's racist now probably because they're all people of one particular skin color or something and that's supposed to have presumptions on who they are as people and what types of things they express and it's supposed to somehow uphold some type of terrible negative uh, stereotype terrible negative stereotype that may or may not exist in the minds of a whole bunch of people um find that kind of thing rather silly oh yes that if anything fits the very textbook definition of being silly good <laughs> Please send us money! <clears throat> In other news, Justin Trudeau has finally moved Canada into the international news cycle. Maternal love is the love that's going to change the future of mankind. Because of his terrible comment where he said, people kind. So yeah. we'd like you to... Uh, we'd we, we like to say people kind, not necessarily mankind. Uh, instead of mankind. This yeah. is more inclusive. There we go, exactly. <laughs> oh, excuse me, we say people kind. Yeah. <laughs> yes, thank you. Now, <clears throat> really, imagine this. Imagine this, folks. If someone like me were to go up to someone like that and say something like that... We can all learn from each other. <laughs> what in the hell do you think would possibly happen? Are you kidding me? I would immediately be accused of mansplaining. That kind of thing is a very silly thing to do, and... <laughs> you all know uh, that I don't necessarily have the best of track records on jokes. Please don't do silly things like this. Um... So, here's how it went down, folks. 
I uh, made a dumb joke a few days ago. Uh, 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 Our childlike PM, no doubt resplendent in silly socks, went out of their way to correct a whammon on the phrase people kind instead of mankind or humankind. It played well in the room and in context. Out of context, it doesn't play so Please don't do silly things like this. Well, and uh, it's a little reminder to me that I, uh, I shouldn't be making, uh, 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 making, uh, making jokes. Please don't do silly things. Even when I think they're funny. <laughs> they could be socially and politically dangerous. That uh, seems to have gone a little viral uh, in the room on the people kind comment. Uh, and because a man did this, this is of course on the internet and in the social justice world called mansplaining. And this is a bad thing. You shouldn't do this because it's not respecting women. Respect women. That cat needs those pills. And so does women need respect. respect. Yeah, sure. That's what we're gonna do. Yes, good. Primary source, PewDiePie. Thank you for this idea. Thank you for your original content. Every day, bro, respecting women, bro. It's a little reminder to me that I uh, I shouldn't be making uh, uh, making uh, making jokes. <sighs> Even when I think they're funny. <sighs> See, the problem that someone would have with such a thing is there's a certain dichotomy to that kind of joke. You put it out there. If it flies, you say, yeah, I meant that. Exactly. Oh, and if it don't fly, you say, well, I was joking. <laughs> you all know uh, that I don't necessarily have the best of track records on jokes. It's not like they said it and then said, just kidding. That was a joke. Uh. This is me when I respect women. <laughs> no, nothing like this. Instead, we just have this statement and then redacted. Hilarious. Good. You've pulled a you've pulled a joke except you're supposed to have said the not right afterwards. Then it could have been a good joke. So in terms of comedy, not sure how that career is going to work. Certainly leading the country has been an abject failure. <laughs> You all know uh, that I don't necessarily have the best of track records on jokes. Jokes on the internet. Some people would be best to leave jokes on the internet to professional jokers or semi-professional jokers or at least comedic people with interesting facial expressions or failing that, whatever the hell this is. So if you'd like to continue to see jokes on the internet, please send us money! I can't get any more clear than that. My God, what are you people doing? Send me money. Send us money. Send whoever money, as long as it's addressed to here and it's cashable in some form. We also accept donations of time, building materials, and old electronics. As well as scrap metal. Thank you, and please send us money. Another hijab hoax protest. CPC fake news! CPC fake news! Rebel media, real news! Rebel media, real news! It's not like it's a police conspiracy or something. They said they investigated, they didn't find anything. <laughs> the main problem that people have with this is clearly the abuse of media in the social arena. Now let me explain that a little. If in fact somebody's character can be assassinated and they can be condemned, without a judge, jury, or trial, in the arena of public opinion, on mere allegations, then we have reached a strange and terrible place in the sociological and metaphysical development of Western society. It's called railroading. We've got a little bit of a problem about this. I think I mentioned this on a certain Patrick Brown it's not so much the actual event or the racial overtones involved that people are upset about here. It's they're upset about the process of media railroading and it just brings to a head all this other type of stuff that's going on. Frankly, it gets people a little bit irritated. So, a whole bunch of people, possibly Asians, but not necessarily confirmed, although go look at the website and you tell me, I, and I'm only led to conclude that because the same people have called 
the same event to take place on Parliament Hill in Ottawa on February the 18th, I think there's going to be something going on there. Frankly, we want to get in that kind of thing and cover that kind of thing. That's the exact type of things that a grassroots news network should cover. So anyway, we're going to go to that and we're going to try to get some people's opinions and we're going to try to talk to people about some different things. We're going to see how all of that goes. Hopefully it'll go a little bit better than some of the other times I've attempted that. It might. Who knows? Here's to hoping. CPC fake news! Expect women. That cat needs those pills. Hey, yeah, this absolutely is way too much to edit. Yeah. Stop filming things! <laughs> That cat needs those pills.